Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to find out which is better, brisket or chuck? So I've got these beautiful giant pieces of meat. A brisket, not a full size pecker, but a normal size brisket. And a chuck. Because I wonder which one of these is going to taste best. We already did a video for testing butcher's paper where we used chuck instead of brisket and oh man, it turned out really really good. So what we're going to do now is compare these two and find out which tastes better, brisket or chuck. Both these cuts are perfect to be smoked. Just look at the marbling that we got in this chuck. Fantastic. The brisket also has a lot of intermuscular fat. Look at that. We're going to keep this original Texas style and we're going to season them with salt and a heavy coat of pepper. First we'll grind up some pepper. These are black peppercorns. And we'll mix our peppercorns with an equal amount of salt. We'll sprinkle that onto our brisket. Do the other side as well. I left the fat cap on this brisket because there's just a little bit of fat in there and it's just going to help add flavor to our brisket. We'll do the same for our chuck roast, salt and pepper on all sides. For my smoke wood I'm using beech because I love beech so much and it's local. This is very important. If you're smoking your meat, choose something local. Uh, hickory would be great, pecan would be great. If you're in Europe, oak and beech would be great. You already set it up? Of course, I already set it up. The Big Joe is ready to go. I'm gonna put the heat deflectors in, put the grill grates in position, put the meat on and we're ready to go. We'll close the lid and let it run at a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. Our brisket and chuck have been smoking for around three to three and a half hours. We're gonna check on them and see how the crust is doing. Wow, look at that. We can see that our chuck roast got a nice red mahogany like color. And it looks like the brisket has a little less red color, but of course the fat cap is here. So that's preventing from picking up smoke. But if you look on the outside, you got that beautiful red mahogany color, that smoke color. Perfect. Let's take a look. On the bottom, it's looking good. It's time to wrap these in butcher paper and put them back on the grill. Now we'll close the lid and let this continue to smoke until we reach a core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. We cooked our brisket and chuck for 5 hours in that paper. It should be done by now. Let's check. I'm just using my probe to see which temperature we've got. I'm looking at a temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. So we're done. We're actually 2 degrees over what I was aiming for. So we're gonna take them off the grill. And we're going to let these rest for at least 20 to 30 minutes. And while we wait for our briskets to rest, we can use that time to make a brisket sauce. So I'll put my pan on this little stove and I'm going to let it come up to temperature. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of raw cane sugar, half a cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and a teaspoon of Frank red hot sauce. And of course, because it's a brisket sauce, we're also going to put in some fresh ground pepper. Stir that up. When our sugars have been dissolved, our sauce is done. We'll put our brisket sauce in a bowl. And then we'll start opening up our brisket package. I'm really curious to see how they both turned out. I'm just figuring out a way to best open it without all these juices dropping out onto my board. Definitely been some steaming going on here. Smoke flavor. Look at that. <laughs> this looks yummy. Wow. We definitely got that beautiful smoked beef smell coming straight at us. And look at how juicy this look on the outside. Let's take this out of the paper. Now let's take a look at that chuck. And again, the beautiful beef, smoked beef. Whoa, look at this. Wow, this is super tender. Look at how juicy this is, fantastic. There's a lot of fat in that chuck and it's all rendered down. And we just squeeze that brisket. You can see 
it's more tense. You see that the, the vibrations there are a lot more tense. Even though they've come up to the same temperature, it's a little tougher than when we squeeze into our chuck. I can also see that the chuck rose has a much darker bark. It looks better than our brisket. Let's find that grain of the brisket. Which way is it running? Let's slice into that brisket first. Our brisket does look good. Got a nice bit of juices from that fat. It definitely has a little bit of pull. And we got that nice smoke ring. Look at that. And since the brisket looks so good, I'm really curious about our chuck. We got a nice smoke ring again. A lot of fat in there. It also means a lot of juiciness. Look at that, if I just squeeze it, you can see that there's a lot of fat in there. Both these cuts have been properly cooked. Both are tender, both are juicy. Now we just gotta eat them and find out which one is really best. Start with our brisket, tear off a little bit, and then Mm. It has that proper brisket flavor. You immediately get that smoke, you get that salty, peppery taste. It's really good. It still has that bite and I like that. Now let's try our chuck. I'm just pulling away some of that hard fat and trying to get an equal comparison. There we go. Mm. Wow, it's much more tender but it's also much more rich in flavor. But it's not as beefy as the brisket. Here, you try the brisket first. Beefy, still has that bite. Brisket is good, but, but I think it could be juicier. This part of the brisket can't be juicier than this because there's, not, there's no more fat in there. The, the beef doesn't hold more moist. It can only be juicier if you inject it with fluids. But now try this. But the thing is, if you eat one bite of chuck, I mean, immediately think, wow, the chuck is much better. I do prefer the chuck. But if you are eating like multiple slices, if you would eat three slices of chuck compared to eating three slices of brisket, I would rather eat three slices of brisket because the chuck has so much fat in it. It has the wagyu effect. It has the wagyu effect. It just made up a new word. The Wagyu effect. The Wagyu effect. Too much fat. Too, too much of, the, of a good thing. Yeah, too it's much a of a Wagyu effect. Yeah. If you're really going in for a meal and you're using brisket, I think you're better off than the chuck. But if you want to just have a couple of bites, or if you want to make, um, I don't know, burned ends, the chuck is definitely, definitely better. But if you go for a whole meal, that's where you have the sauce for. Oh, I almost forgot about the sauce. That's such a good call. I almost almost forgot about it. Can I dip? Yes, I can. I'm the boss. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> there we go. Mm. This is good. I'm not gonna say it. You're gonna say it. I'll get you another piece. Slice it and dip it into the sauce. Tell me why this sauce is so good to go with brisket or with chuck. Perfect. That's it, because there's a lot of acidity in this sauce. We put a lot of vinegar in this sauce and just a little bit of sweetness, but also a little bit of spiciness and just balances out that fat. It's really important that you have a sauce that balances out that fat. So you get a balanced meal and it doesn't upset your stomach and you can keep eating. Mm. Perfect. Now I can eat three slices of chuck. Now to declare a decisive winner here is really difficult because our brisket, it's like a full meal thing. You can have multiple slices and you will be happy eating it. But the chuck, it's, it just feels juicier. It feels richer. It's, 
like, like it's got a better bark it's everything's better but there's just a little bit too much of everything so one bite or two bites is enough and that will be a shame if you put a whole meal up for it and i'm not gonna declare a winner but if you're going for small bites it's the chuck is definitely better. If you're going for a full meal, go for the brisket. I would love to know from you guys, what do you prefer, the brisket or the chuck? Leave a comment down below and of course a big thumbs up. I want to say a thank you to all our patrons and our YouTube members and the guys that are translating the subtitles in this video. If you want to make subtitles, there's a link in the first comment down below. Check it out. See you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk and keep on grilling. Thank you.